I just found a tool that I'm extremely excited to use. Sometimes when I do these uh, little kind of software reviews or generative AI tool reviews, I'm like, ah, whatever. This one, Chat Hub, I'm extremely excited about. All right, let me tell you why. Let me first tell you a little bit more about what this is. Well, if you don't know, my name is Jordan Wilson. I'm the host of Everyday AI. We're a daily live stream podcast, free daily newsletter, helping everyday people learn and leverage AI. So if this is helpful, please make sure to subscribe to this channel. Number two, uh, go sign up for our free daily newsletter. It's really good. Uh, so let's jump in. This is our AI in five section where we kind of review uh, a, a different tool in about five-ish minutes. So uh, we're going to take a look at Chat Hub, which I'm pretty excited about. So it allows you to use different large language models at the same time. This is something I usually do manually. I'll open up, you know, three to four different windows, uh, arrange them all on my computer, um, and do a lot of copying and pasting, right? Uh, but this uh, tool, uh, I instantly bought it. So there are uh, free options, but uh, I believe it was only $35, a one-time fee uh, to get this more premium version. So uh, let's jump in and kind of look at what you can do inside this platform. So uh, you'll see here, uh, if you do sign up for a free account, uh, I believe you can only do two at once. Uh, but uh, if you sign up for the premium account, you can do uh, up to six, which I'm going to show you. Uh, and web access, that's the biggest thing. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, look at the settings, some different things that you can do. Uh, so in the settings, you can change your different startup page. You can toggle which models that you want to use. This is uh, super important. So by default, uh, there's quite a few popular ones uh, kind of um, already enabled, but everything from ChatGPT to Bing, Bard, uh, Anthropics, Claude, Llama 2 from Meta, Perplexity, which I love, uh, Falcon, Mistral. So a lot of different models. Um, and then within ChatGPT, uh, you can just use the default 3, 5, or 4, or you can bring in your own API key. So in this test, um, I'm just doing the default models, which I'm not even sure how that works um, in terms of usage because I'm not having to put in my API key. Maybe that's where the, uh, the one-time cost goes. I'm not sure. Uh, but then there's options for Claude as well. Uh, so you can bring in your own API key um, and then bing, you can choose between, you know, balanced, precise, or creative. So uh, those are kind of my settings. So let's just go straight into um, and just see, okay, what, which are these actually connected to the internet, um, you, you know, and are they accurate, uh, at least when using them through chat hub. That's the biggest thing because uh, when you're using these all on your own, there's tips and tricks and best practices for each large language model, but uh, it can be a real time saver. So I'm going to say, what is today's date? All right, so let's see who's actually connected. Uh, not connected to the internet, but uh, it looks like uh, we're having an error here with Llama. So I'm going to go ahead and click this. Um, and I'm going to try it one more time. So I, I just had to open up a new window, uh, refresh something. So it looks like everyone got everything right. So I'm going to say, um, I'm going to say who won the uh, 2023 uh, Major League Baseball uh, World Series, right? So I'm going to see now, I had to enable something on Llama. So let's see if Llama actually is, is connected yet uh, to real time. So it's not. So that functionality may not be available. Uh, it says the World Series hasn't occurred yet. So let's see if everyone else did okay. So uh, ChatGPT with the web access enabled, Texas Rangers. Let's see here. Texas Rangers for Claude. Uh, there we go. Texas Rangers for Bard, Texas Rangers for Bing, Llama didn't connect, uh, Perplexity, Texas Rangers. Cool. So um, so we already know that uh, one, one thing may not work very well, uh, So, which is uh, Llama, but that's okay. So now I'm going to put in a little bit bigger of a prompt, um, and I'm going to go ahead and toggle this down here. Um, and I'm going to describe to you what we're doing and what we're looking for. Okay. So in this prompt, it's a pretty long prompt, but I'm, I'm really pushing the limits here in a very fast video, but I'm essentially saying, assume the role of a chief marketing officer. You work at everyday AI. So then I go on, uh, in this prompt to explain a little bit what everyday AI is, and I'm giving it directions to query the web and learn techniques of top, uh, kind of cheap mark, uh, chief marketing officers and advice from different, uh, you know, kind of famous, um, you know, publications. Um, and then I'm giving uh, each of these different large language models access or not access. I'm not giving them access, but I'm telling them here's where you can find more information about your everyday AI. And then I'm asking for four different things. Okay. And we're going to really pay attention to C because that's where we really want to know, Hey, when I toggle on this web access, are we actually able to access the web or not? So I'm asking for five things. I'm saying, 
uh, or sorry, four things, a list of five things every day AI is doing well, B, a list of five things other competitors may be doing well, C, uh, five most recent episodes, and I'm giving them the episode page. So I've done many tests on this before, and this is important to know. Uh, different large language models handles URL differently. Um, and also we're inside chat hub, so it's going to handle it even differently within a kind of a third party, uh, connector, uh, because if you're in chat GPT with plugins, as an example, you can go to very specific web pages, like I'm asking it to do in other large language models. It just Googles or it queries the keywords, uh, in the URL. So that may work. It may not work. So, uh, I'm really going to pay attention in the responses to see. All right. So it looks like most of these are still working. Um, this is interesting. So Bard, I, I did some testing before with this and it worked fine. So Bard said, I can't help you with that. Uh, Llama, interestingly enough, uh, went through and finished, but I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that, uh, this is not going to be very accurate, uh, from Llama, at least when we're asking specifics, because we already did some testing and we saw that Llama two from meta did not actually connect uh, to the, uh, to the internet. And you'll see here, we got, uh, hallucinations because it says, uh, Dr. Ahmed Tafwick is the host, but I'm the host and that is not my name. So, um, let's go down here and see. Yeah. So it, we didn't do any of these actual, uh, episodes. So, uh, llama did not work in this situation. Let's look at perplexity, uh, to see. So here's our growth strategies, five most recent episodes. Okay. So we got some right and some incorrect, which is interesting. So perplexity uh, said, you know, this is correct. Episode 103. That's not the five most recent, but we didn't do an AI sales strategies podcast. Uh, we didn't do strategies for ethical and sustainable AI development. We didn't do some of these. So we got some of them right, some of them incorrect. Uh, let's see if Bing uh, got us anything here. We'll scroll down here. Bing is in the lower left-hand corner. Okay. Episode 100. That's correct. Episode 99. Didn't really talk about that. And it kind of stalled out, right? Uh, so we're getting some errors, which I actually wasn't getting, uh, in my testing before. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to clear the conversation history, right? I'm going to go ahead and also, uh, kind of refresh this page. All right. And I'm going to run this one more time. Uh, we're just going to look straight at the results. And we'll see if the others did better. So Llama, again, Llama's fast, but not correct. Uh, perplexity, uh, last time it, we, we got mixed results. So I'm just looking at C, which is the five most recent episodes. Again, hit or miss. Uh, yeah, hit or miss. We didn't get everything there. Let's look at uh, Bing again. So it looks like it's working a little better. So Bing, here we go. Um, Bing made this up. All right, because these are not actual episodes. Um, we did not talk about these things. Uh, so that's that's pretty interesting. Uh, let's look at ChatGPT to see if this is accurate. So it ran this time. Uh, it's still still kind of running as we go. Uh, so let's look at Claude. Let's see if Claude was uh, able to specific uh, to accurately uh, find these episodes. It did not. Uh, Bard uh, refused to go, which is interesting because I did one test beforehand and it actually worked. Um, so let's look at chat GPT. It's still running. Interesting. So it says as of my last update in April, 2023, I cannot access the current web. So why would you use this? Well, not all of you are going to need to, um, run, you know, something specific for the web. So like, let's just say as an example, I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to clear all these and I'm going to say, give me, uh, you know, give me an outlook on marketing trends for 2024, right? That's what everyone's always talking about in, uh, you know, November and December, you know, what's the next marketing trend. So this is a great way to tap into the power of large language models, but to do it in multiple, um, you know, multiple different systems all at once. So, uh, I'd say this is something you always, like I just did, you always have to test it first uh, for your specific use cases to see if you're going to, if it's going to work, if it's going to hallucinate, what's good, what's not. But I'm I'm already pretty confident that this uh, tool, ChatHub, is, is a tool that once I play with it a little bit more, I'm going to be using it pretty frequently for a lot of purposes just to get more out in a shorter period of time. All right.
If this is helpful, please go to youreverydayai.com. Sign up for that free daily newsletter. We also do free prompting courses twice a week. So sign up, reply to that uh, you, you know, welcome email, and I'll give you access to that. So I hope this is helpful, and we'll see you back for another AI in five-ish.